What do we actually understand about the cosmos? We don't even know its true shape if a new notion is to be believed. Because it might not genuinely be a flat surface, but rather a rounded sphere. Join us as we investigate the potential reasons for this. Number 7. Why did we initially believe it to be flat? I'm sure some of you are curious as to how the form of the cosmos in general came to be. Primarily because it resembles the concept of a flat Earth, which we still deal with today despite the fact that it has long been established that the Earth is round. But, the story is a little bit different for the universe. Because in the early days of astronomy, when many people thought that the Earth was the center of the universe and that everything revolved around it, we must look back in order to fully comprehend the point of this work. Then, we gradually came to understand the truth that we orbited the Sun and that it was but one piece of a much larger cosmic puzzle. Thus, after discovering that, we began to contemplate the question, what is the shape of the universe? The issue was that we really didn't have anything at our disposal that could look into deep space, so we couldn't really respond to that right away. We didn't really know how the cosmos was really shaped. All we had were theories and beliefs, and it was because of these that we thought the universe was flat. Not for the same reasons that people thought the Earth was flat, but rather because of how light moves through the cosmos as we currently understand it. The universe's flat theory, like it or not, not only makes sense, it also explains a lot. Mostly because the universe appears to be expanding in all directions based on current observations, which would only make sense if the universe were flat. Because it would be a comprehensive expansion. Because of this, many people did believe in it, including a well-known scientist. Number 6. Einstein's Relativity Albert Einstein developed a relativity theory in the 1900s to assist clarify how humans thought about the cosmos. This theory would further clarify how the universe might be formed. Nevertheless, it wasn't as straightforward as flat, rather, it was more curved. In essence, he said, it would probably be very difficult for the universe to be perfectly flat like a canvas. Hard, but not impossibly so. Instead, he claimed that the gravitational pull of the many stars, planets, black holes, and other cosmic objects may cause the cosmos to warp, bend, or move. He also contributed to the understanding of how gravity developed on a larger scale within the universe. Which, on its own, is an intriguing idea. The cosmos isn't totally fashioned by his idea, though, rather, it offers the possibility of one of three possible variants, if you will. The flat theory, which is the first hypothesis, is the most widely accepted. That we are sort of like a canvas, and all the galaxies, stars, planets, and other things are just little blobs on a kind of map that represents where we are. The saddle is another way of looking at the form of the cosmos. Because it is more curved, some images of the universe make us question if the flat theory is actually accurate because the viewpoint of those events just seems strange. Last but not least, Einstein proposed that the universe might have a rounded shape, similar to the current shape of the Earth. A closed universe is what it is like in this case. The majority of people are taught to think that the universe is flat, that everything stretches equally, and that the cosmos operates according to particular rules, despite the fact that there are other options. But now, a lot of people are unsure if that is indeed the case. Number 5. So what has changed? There are many beliefs that, like with other sciences, seem to be supported by the ones that exist at the time. Yet as history has demonstrated, just because we currently believe something to be true doesn't guarantee that we won't subsequently discover evidence that can refute what is occurring in other people's minds. It has been demonstrated countless times via the study of astronomy, but recently, a group of researchers who used the most fundamental of disciplines to determine the potential structure of the cosmos looking at light seem to have changed things once more. They focused specifically on the CMB, or cosmic microwave background. It's the light left over after the Big Bang, and it is the light in the cosmos that is the farthest away from us that we can see. As a result, 
It is the light that is most impacted by the universe's form. We are aware of the quantities of dark matter and dark energy present in the universe, so we can predict how large the CMB fluctuations should be. Over the years, these variations in light have aided science in a variety of ways. Yet, when this new team examined the variations, they discovered something extremely odd. Because the Planck spacecraft data showed that the CMB fluctuated considerably, much more than it would have otherwise. Hence, these fluctuations would not be conceivable if the universe were flat. Or at least not in the same way that they are doing it now. So it appears from this latest study that the universe is more spherical than we first thought. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel before we continue with this. 4. How does light help in showing the shape of the universe? Okay, so we undoubtedly caught you off guard with the evidence that the universe isn't flat, but you might not be familiar with the science behind how the light analysis works or why it's important. So please allow us to assist you on that front. So consider it in this manner. You have a laser pointer, and you are pointing it at a distant object. You will arrive at a perfect level if the space between you is a perfectly formed line. Nevertheless, if it is curved, the light will not travel in the direction you anticipate. That's the same for the cosmos as a whole. The shape of the universe as a whole defines the course that the light takes as it travels through it, and this shape also influences how humans see the world. After all, we can see the moon in the sky even when it doesn't glow because it emits light or is having light bounce off of something else. This is how we know the stars in the sky are stars. All directions are illuminated by the universe's light, although not all of them are equally bright depending on the universe's shape. In a flat universe, parallel lines stay parallel, thus light from two opposing sides of a far-off galaxy travels in a straight line to reach us. The galaxy appears to be its actual size because their angles with respect to one another are constant. Parallel lines diverge over distance if the cosmos is open. As a result, as the light from our far-off galaxy approaches us, it gets more parallel. As a result, the galaxy would seem smaller than it actually is. The opposite bending of light occurs in a closed universe, making the galaxy appear larger than it actually is. The Planck spacecraft and other investigations appeared to show that the lines of light were perfectly parallel and that the universe was flat, or almost flat, as a result. Nevertheless, if the statistics from this latest study are to be trusted, that is no longer the case. Everything we know about the cosmos as a whole would be altered if it were to suggest that the universe is closed and a sphere. Number 3. Why does the sphere change things? This might not seem like a major concern when viewed from the outside, pun intended. Why should we be concerned about the structure of the cosmos if it has no bearing on Earth? It's a good question, and I'll gladly respond to it. Our current perceptions of the universe are based entirely on the theories we have about it. The operation of gravity and orbits, as well as other topics. We believe we are knowledgeable because we have demonstrated that certain ideas support other ideas. For years, we believed that the cosmos was flat, constantly expanding, and filled with a wide range of objects. But it is obvious that this is not the case. Or, if this hypothesis is correct, it's not what's happening in this situation. If the universe is a sphere, we would have to rethink pretty much everything we believe about it. For instance, that would imply that some planets, stars, and galaxies may be further or closer apart than they actually are. Referring to the prior discussion of the laws of light, this would also alter our perception of orbits, certain gravities, and the locations of particular galaxies in relation to important objects. Not only that, but if it is round or spherical in any way, it shows that we don't understand the cosmos as well as we thought we did and that our presumptions about it are probably entirely incorrect. It's uncertain whether this information will lead to any new discoveries about it now or in the future, but it does reveal a flaw in our understanding of space, and for the majority of scientists, that's a massive no-no. Number 2. Does this definitely establish that the universe is a sphere? That is the question, isn't it? 
because, as I just said, the history of astronomy and the physics of the cosmos has dramatically evolved throughout time. Before the Sun, our galaxy, and other factors, we believed that the Earth was the center of the universe. We've been learning about the cosmos as a whole for a while now, but it took some time to get here. But if it turns out to be a falsehood that would undoubtedly change the situation, Yet that still leaves open the question, does this new evidence support the theory that the universe is round? Honestly, no. Given that it originates from the Planck spacecraft, which has been used to ascertain certain facts about the cosmos, it appears to be irrefutable evidence, but is it really? Not right now. The information that the team discovered must first and foremost be independently confirmed by other individuals. Furthermore, only because some evidence indicates that something occurred in this particular case does not imply that it always does. If it can't be repeated, it's not science, as some wise scientists once said. So, at the moment, we're sort of playing a waiting game to see if this new piece of information turns out to be accurate. You could counter that there is still much to learn even if it doesn't work out. After all, if the universe weren't a sphere, why did this evidence from the spacecraft seem to suggest it was? Sure, it could be a bug, or it could be a cosmic anomaly that will teach us something altogether else. We must wait to fully understand what is happening in the universe as a whole since the possibilities are limitless. Number 1. The Wonders of the Universe the most important conclusion to draw from this most recent piece of knowledge about the universe is that we really don't know as much about it as we believe we do. Of course, there are some aspects about the universe that we can be certain about. So what good is teaching the form of the cosmos to children and the like if we can't even predict it correctly? Thus, there is still plenty for us to learn. That's not necessarily a terrible thing. In fact, when you think about it, it's very energizing. No, seriously, think about this. We wouldn't want to gaze up at the world every single night if we knew everything about it. We wouldn't be curious about what is out there because we would already be aware of everything. But this latest enigma shows that's absolutely not the case. There are regions of space that appear to be completely devoid of everything, and there are planets that we observe and wonder how in the world do those kinds of planets form. As we observe asteroids, we ponder their origin, potential impact with Earth, and a host of other questions. If it turns out that the universe is a sphere and not a flat plate, this may lead to the discovery of previously unsolved puzzles as well as new information. This might signal the start of a significant shift in our understanding of the cosmos as a whole. Where will it take us, then? Whether the information is confirmed will determine that. If we're fortunate, whether it's true or not will soon be made clear, and then we'll go forward. So for now, all there is to do is wait. But be encouraged by the fact that the cosmos is patiently waiting for us to solve the problem. It's been here for a mere few billion years. Thank you everybody for watching. What did you make of the idea that the universe is not flat and is actually closed? Do you believe that is indeed what is occurring here? Do you believe that with these new insights we will be able to discover more about the universe? Please let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the channel again soon.